I'm in my element, it's evident that there's levels to the game. All of those dark nights, I got them breaking my back to make it out, got me feeling like rain. I ain't never need your help, I know you wishing me well, a penny for your thoughts, but seeing no change. I snap for the sun like Diddy. Yo, what's up, everybody? I'm out here right now, just finishing up some pizza. I live in Atlanta uh, from a spot called Fellini's, man. That spot is fire. If you ever come to Atlanta, or if you live here in Atlanta, and you haven't been to Fellini's, you gotta check it out. The pizza is bomb. My apologies. That was really, that was really me to, to be chewing and uh, talking, you know what I mean? It's just not good manners. But anyway, y'all, look, I'm about to be at the gym, so that's why I'm here today. I kind of want to record a, you know, a little workout day with me. I haven't done that in some time, you know, uh, so I kind of want to start doing that more regularly. I think today's going to be my day where, I, where I'll do that. Uh, I'll drop the video once a week, maybe every Monday or Tuesday. And, uh, yeah, man, you know, so I'm going to start making more time to be able to do that. So uh, people can follow along, see what's up with my journey, man, and uh, hopefully, you know what I'm saying, it, it can inspire some people or, you know, it. Or maybe you just like how I edit or like the way I talk, you know what I'm saying, or uh, the way I dress, whatever the case may be. Uh, and if you do like that, just let me know in the comments. And also, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Keep uh, you know everything looking nice and neat, you know, as much as possible. Sometimes my space does get a little cluttery because my lifestyle. I'm always uh, you know, out and about. Either I'm editing, uh, out taking shots. I'm also a U.S. Army recruiter, so <clears throat> during those during the day uh, through the week, you know, I'm very busy. So sometimes my space gets a little cluttery. So it's always good to be able to come through and just get everything nice and clean. But now that's done, I'm about to get my gym bag. And we're about to head out and get this working. Let's go. Well, I got some extra stuff in the gym bag that I don't really need, so I'm gonna get that out of there. Make sure I got my gloves. Although I don't think I'm gonna use them today because I'm just doing something light. It's a Sunday in a squat-tober, so I plan on doing uh, 230 squats at least. And if I can do more, I'm gonna do 450 because I, I missed yesterday's squat-tober. Grab the energy drink, the C4, you know, for a little performance boost. Oh, don't mind the refrigerator, it is bare. I'm a horrible grocery shopper. I gotta try to get better at that. I feel like every time I go to the grocery store, all I do is buy a bunch of nothing. So, it is what it is. If you got any grocery shopping tips, leave them for me. I will try to follow them, I promise you. <music> in the car here into the gym I can't record and drive so I see y'all when I get there here at the gym made it parking lot is packed crazy right now super thick out here but mostly that's because it's a Costco right next to the gym so and it's Sunday so you know what that means everybody be at Costco shopping up stocking for their for their week and all that so but yeah man we about to head up in here and get it in man so I see y'all inside let's get it
all the stretching. Did my static stretches, did some uh, dynamic stretching, and also did some stretching with the band. So I personally like to do static, dynamic, and band stretching. Uh, and sometimes I even throw in some self modification release with the foam roll and all that before my workouts. Some people don't like to do that. Uh, they prefer doing dynamic, dynamic stretching only. And I feel like it's a little bit trendy right now. Uh, people who are not really big fans of stretching in general kind of like to go ahead and go to that default of let's do that dynamic stretching because it's not as bad as static stretching. And then I use the excuse that you will lose uh, a certain amount of percentage of your strength when it comes to the performance of your workout. When, in all honesty, that only really matters if you're like in a competition or something. You need like every percent of strength that you're going to use. But typically on a routine workout, you're not always going to perform at your maximum performance anyway. So you still can make tremendous gains if you're stretching before your workout. When I say stretching, I mean static stretching. So don't let that deter you uh, because people are saying not to do it or whatever case may be. You got to do what's right for you, what's comfortable for you. Me personally, I want to uh, be big on my mobility and flexibility. So uh, that, uh, static stretching is very important for me. So. On to the workout. About to give this 400 and, uh, 450 squats uh, for I mentioned yesterday and today, and then we're gonna go on to some adductor and uh, uh, hip flexor, uh, whatever. You'll see the machines. I can't remember what, what it is, but uh, we're gonna work those uh, parts of our leg, parts of our legs, and I'll probably do some leg extensions as well. So let's get it, man. About to be a bomb ass workout, y'all. So. Hope you all are enjoying it so far. If you got any questions, you drop them in the comment section. squats done so I made up for yesterday's miss and then did today's work so I feel accomplished uh, I ain't gonna lie about 75 in I felt like oh man why did I do this so that was everything done push through it because <coughs> a lot of times the physical uh, piece of working out uh, is only one part of it you know it's a lot of mental strength and a lot of resiliency that goes into working out so Got it done, about to move on to the next exercise. Out, man, got it in. It was good. Uh, like I said, it was good. You know, doing those 450 squats. Uh, watch all through the, the static stretching, dynamic stretching. Uh, did some band, uh, you know, warm ups. Then went on to the 450 squats, right? Which I would say it was a challenge. You know, it was definitely a challenge. My legs were already sore from my previous workout. Still recovering, but I had a heavy leg day the day before yesterday. So, but it's squat over, so we going hard, you know what I mean? We going all in. So uh, then we move on to the adductors and, uh, and the adductors machines. And uh, that's how we finish out our workout, you know? So we're here right now. I'm gonna, uh, you know, do some editing. I'm gonna meet with a friend. And uh, yeah, that's a wrap of the video. So like I said, like, 
subscribe, and just leave a comment, you know, about everything that I that you see in the video. If you have any questions, any tips, uh, anything you would like to know, any video ideals, anything you want to see from me. And uh, let's keep this going. All right. Hey, man, I'm out of here. Y'all be easy, man. Mm.